Hello everybody, it's your student ambassador Sonia here and today I'm spilling the tea with YouTuber Blanca White who just so happens to be a third year business management student. Blanca and I chat about all things Ryerson, pretty much spilling the tea when it comes to making friends, living on residence, everything you need to know about the business management program and so much more. So without further ado, let's get started. So hi Blanca, I'm so excited hi. to have you here today with us chatting about all things Ryerson and the business management program. Before we get into asking all the questions that sort of spill the tea about Ryerson, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm in my third year in the business management program and I'm majoring in marketing and I'm also doing a minor in human resources. And I've done kind of social media and YouTube for over nine years now. So I knew like going to university was something I was gonna continue and like continue documenting that part of my life. And why did you pick the business management program at Ryerson? And being a third year student, how would you describe it in a nutshell? So actually in grade 12, I was like really unsure of what I wanted to do. I had like so many different options and programs. I knew I really liked the marketing and like PR, social media kind of programs that I was applying to. So I really liked that the business management program, I was able to like first year see the different majors since you do have classes from each major. So I was like, you know what, I going in, I was like, I'm probably most interested in marketing, but I was like, if anything, if I end up liking my accounting class or econ, um, second year I could, you know, make that my major. So it was really nice. And it also like solidified that I did like marketing because I ended up like in my marketing class the best and I was like yeah this is totally what I want to go into um, and describing the program I would say you actually have a lot of space to kind of make it unique to like what you want to study so again first year it is pretty general so you do get a taste of everything and what you like for sure and as a third year you've experienced quite a bit of the program has there been a favorite part that really stood out to you I think um, just my classes relate a lot to what I'm interested in and it's really cool like if I'm in a marketing class and we talk so much about social media influencers and just that whole new like realm of marketing and how it's like getting so big and you know over like TV advertisements and stuff so it's really cool how everything kind of ties back even TikTok now is such a huge app and we spent like in one of my classes we spent a lot of time talking about it because it's this huge new marketing thing. So it's really cool and interesting that I'm like also taking part of the things we're talking about, like, mm -hmm. you know, social media influencers, like YouTube marketing. It's really cool that I can be like, oh, like we're talking about that. I do that. So it's really cool how everything's kind of connected. For sure. And have you ever felt like the courses you've taken have helped you in terms of creating content over on YouTube or vice versa? I think for sure, there's been little things that I've picked up, maybe even like more on the professional side. I had to take um, professional communications, which actually like helps like emails and, you know, all of that, like more like admin stuff, but also just the marketing courses in general. It's really cool to see kind of the behind the scenes of how advertising and everything works. So it's cool to apply that again to what I do um, and kind of see it like from how like companies and just the marketing side really works and uh, like I'm part of that so it's really cool. Going back on to like talking about your YouTube career, you post a lot of videos about your university experience. I remember being in grade 11 and being a diehard fan of your videos and I remember your honest university Q&A talking about yeah. um, just how things were going and you mentioned that you had grown a lot in such a short amount of time, you had to be more independent and you admit that you were struggling with taking six <laughs> courses and that you were even considering changing programs. So yeah. I think a lot of people feel that way and it's not talked about a lot. How did you overcome that feeling? I think the first thing was you can't compare your journey to anyone else. I had pretty much all of my friends were in my program. So when I was like struggling with some of my classes, I was like, well, my friend's doing really good. Like there's something wrong with me. And I think that's, you have to understand that like everyone will have such a different just experience whether it's like with classes you know living on campus off campus doing co-op like internships like it's just so unique to everyone that you cannot compare yourself to anyone else and then also with the workload i was really overwhelmed going from high school to university and i think like your first midterm grades are like so terrifying you don't know what to expect so it's totally okay to again be overwhelmed 
you'll you know figure out what study habits work for you and everything so i really took a step back and i was like okay do i because i wasn't sure i felt like because i maybe wasn't doing as well as high school i was like do i even like my program like is it for me so i was like considering switching programs i was like maybe i could just drop the class i'm not doing well in and take it another time so first i would say use your resources around you there are so many that the university offers I saw an academic advisor because I was like, I was just so unsure what to do. So I was like, I made an appointment. I went and sat down and I was like, this is what I'm struggling with. Like, do I drop the courses? Do I switch my program? And I was like, I thought, you know, dropping a class is like absolutely the worst thing ever. I'm not, you know, recommending it, but it is like, it's nothing to be scared of. I ended up dropping my accounting class and then I took it another semester and I ended up doing really well because I was able to, you know, like focus more. Um, so for sure, see your resources. Mm -hmm. To anyone that is thinking about coming to Ryerson, how would you describe the environment or the feel of campus and the people there? I would say, think of like a regular university campus, but also with like the mix of like on the go, you know, a downtown city. Because when you're on campus, you know, there are bits that you feel like you are just at like a regular school, students around you, whether you're like in the library or like even if you're at a Starbucks or Tim's on campus, it is mostly students around you. So you for sure get that campus feel, but also you are downtown. So there's so many options, so many things to do. Um, like most of my classes are in Ted Rogers and it's like connected to the malls, but you really get a good balance, I think, of if you want to go to school in a city and if you want to commute or just living downtown. When you talk about, you know, like the, the ability for people who are living on campus and commuters, you lived on Hoam on Jarvis in your first year. What was that experience like and would you recommend students to live on residence? I absolutely loved my experience. It was so fun. I was, I didn't know anyone going into like going to Ryerson. I had absolutely no one like from my high school that I knew. So I went in, you know, living on residence meeting my roommates for the first time and it was just so great it's really nice to have that community of students but you also get the experience of living away from home living in apartment style in the city which is so cool um but the community is so great you just know that like your next door neighbors are also students so it's really easy to make friends also that's how i met all my friends now who i live with like my roommates are from home so I absolutely love it. And was it hard for you to adapt to living on your own in terms of cooking, being more independent? Did you find yourself eating out more than cooking at home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, I don't regret it though. It, it was really fun. But yeah, it was a big like it was a big adjustment, of course, to living on your own. But it's really great because all your roommates are also going through the same thing. So we all were kind of helping each other out, whether it's like with laundry or cooking. You know, we're all in the same boat, so it's really great having that community of students again. Since you lived in Toronto for your first year and in your second year, what is your favorite part about living in downtown? And do you have any go-to spots that you think people should always check out? Okay, so my favorite part for sure is just all the different things you can do. You know, you can go shopping, go to different neighborhoods and explore, like go down to the lake shore or trying different food, like entertainment at night. There's just everything you can do so many different things and my go-to spots so first i would say it's kyoto sushi house it's just down dundas from ted rogers it's all you can eat sushi my <laughs> friends and i would like go once a week for lunch or dinner it's a great way also it's affordable for students and you could you could literally get stuffed for like the whole day and, and same with bubble tea there's endless amounts of spots around campus so my personal favorite one is called Bubble Teas. I love their mango smoothies. And a newer one is called Tiger Sugar. It's so, so good. It's a little fancier, but um, it was like on my walk home. So if I had like a big assignment or exam, I would like stop and treat myself for it. And yeah, those are spots you for sure have to try out. For sure. I have never tried sushi, so that's definitely on my list. And I do yes. not like bubble tea, which is, I know is an really? unpopular <laughs> opinion, I know but I definitely need to give it a try. I've only had it once. My last and final question for you is, if you could go back in time, what would you have told your first year self? I think I would just say, it's all gonna be okay. You know, it's okay to not have everything figured out. If you're 
unsure about even like the program like the school like there's just so much that you're overwhelmed with it's so much change so you don't need to you know have your study habits like down right away like it's all going to be trial and error you will figure out what works best for you it's all okay to not be sure of everything at first um you'll figure everything out and make a great plan for yourself and what you enjoy like taking and doing and just all of that awesome so thank you so much blanco for joining me today i had so much fun chatting with you thank you i had so much fun being on this channel if you want to know more about Y Ryerson, definitely follow at Y Ryerson on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, and more recently, TikTok. Anyways, I will see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.